Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the United Kingdom of Scandinavia. So we pushed into Germany and we're kind of stalled here. We don't have nearly enough convoys. Something's a bit, a bit off there. I think, so. I think something went a bit wrong there. Oh yeah, we need all those convoys to trade with the Yanks to get some extra guns because we are that short. So, let's go back into this and... Scale back these a bit. Myself, 100 of these at least. All right. Yeah, most of our pushes are not really working anymore. But we're holding at least. So I'm going to just... Ooh, that's a little pocket there I do not like. Let's see, this will take them... 16 hours... It'll just get rid of this little bulge here that I do not like having bulges like that. I've we lost quite a few people the last time we tried that. So as as it sounds, we're just short of manpower, short of equipment. Well, we're not short of manpower yet, but we don't have enough fur. Just don't have enough. Could go with this factory subsidies though. We are a little short of political power at the moment. Ah, uh, we lost a submarine. God, we are really short of artillery as well. Scale back the planes a little bit. Kind of short of trucks. I think the next thing I'm going to rec uh, research is maintenance companies. Because what they do is buff up our equipment capture rate. Like, for sure supplies, I see no reason not to use the enemy, enemy gear. So we're at least holding. And unlike the last push, we've actually taken some Polish territory back. Poles have also revolted up here, though that's not going to last. That's diverting troops away from us. And it looks like the Soviets are starting to push back where Iran is on its last legs here, but that's a sideshow for us. Yeah, that wasn't really a surprise. The Poles had absolutely no troops here. Which means we now are cut off. Well, I think it's time we just pushed again. We're probably going to lose a few, but we have to get our we have to get our troops back. Sufficient resources again. I need to bump up a few things. 
Gimpland and Uslandit, they will have exp We have a small crap. We actually lost a couple of you of years from the reaction force. That is not what I wanted to see. They also got cut off from the Poles capitulation. They get Denmark to what was Denmark to try push out a little over this way to the west. I think just to try and close this gap here. Probably not going to work, but. Getting short of fuel again. Like we just don't have enough. Everything. Go back to the secret police, which means more garrison requirements to get rid of this resistance stuff. It's really starting again. They can really push. See, Sweden seems to be just have Fleischer. This guy, he's injured. So skill bonuses are worse. Looks like we are. We've pushed a fair chunk into uh Netherlands. Stop that going for us. Yep, we lost Coslin, so I'm gonna take four of these these divisions and just put them back and put them here on reaction force. It'll take them a while to get down, but they'll get there. Especially since we have railways the whole way. But yeah, we're in a bit of a stalemate right now. Yanks have come through on us. And we're delivering, we're building quite a bit ourselves, so. Storage will last for 12 days. That's less than two weeks. I think we can live with that. Artillery is a bit of a problem. That's. We need to add more factories onto the three. Yeah, the Soviets have made quite a bit of progress here. I guess that's what we can do. Try and draw some draw some heat away from this flank, this front. The only question is, are, they, are we getting to points of war with them afterwards? Because the way this game usually works, or this mod anyway, Turkey will end up declaring war on them. We do not want to get involved in that. Oh, Italy, trying to do a naval invasion of Northwest Germany. Like, I don't know why they bother, to be honest. We got everyone here. Almost. A couple of them um, are not looking a bit shaky, but things seem to have stabilized a bit, at least. Apparently we have have inferior enemy locally, but overall superior enemy. Hmm. No, so they have their organization is too low to advance. So if we started pushing, we might be able to drive them back. Oh, and another one in Stettin. Well, they've got a few more people this time, but we'll see how that works.
Okay, it looks like we actually have are be able to push a little down towards Weimar and Air and um Würzburg. Well, Weimar and Leipzig anyway. Over at Dortmund, Essen, Utrecht, these are all pretty bad. At least some of our divisions aren't in position. I might just cancel this attack here just to hold this area. There's I might need to actually buff up the um aggression of the of this just to try and get him to push a little further. Guide missiles, jet engines. is going slow but yeah at least one push there it worked though they counterattacked this one is not going well because we're hurt Defeated. Oh, the Soviets have landed in the uh, Liepaja. Corrections are welcome on that. And Tallinn. They've surrounded this airfield just west of um, Mzir. Oh. That's still the tip bung over there. Brits have Got something here, should I go for them? Might just leave that side of the world. Because not really about this. Got enough on our doorstep. Another race pilot. And we don't have enough airfields as well, so those probably get there. Cell two. Okay, yeah, miss all three. Buff our garrisons a little bit more. I had to move a spy back here to do um to root out help root out the resistance. It does make a rather large difference to that. We're gonna need to keep it. Yeah. This is not gonna work out. Basically they're fight they're fighting into Fortified towns. That that's not gonna work. I should just do more probing attacks. Down here we're pushing. That's, yep, that's us pushing, but slowly. This is us holding, pushing. Pushing, but outnumbered. Hey, more ace pilots. Good. Germany is about forty percent of the way towards capitulation, and we've done eleven percent of the war effort. Well, that's like we've caused two million casualties for 
about 500,000. We're basically dealing four, uh, four times as many casualties as we're taking. Which, I'm okay with that. I'd still prefer if it was... Oh, for Christ's sake, not again. And I think the Mexicans and Yanks can probably take that and can take that back this area. Right. Stop the advance for now just to try and um time to Replan re this. So, try and push towards Antwerpen from De from the Denmark army. Really need to rename this log right now. Try and push up towards towards Danzig, Dansk. Sweden. Try and push down towards Nuremberg because that's going to be a major supply hub. Yeah, basically, wait until everything is back up. Yeah, we're still short of still short of infantry equipment, still short of artillery. Let's see how long will this last? Seventy days. Three, eighteen days for infantry equipment. Should have done this maintenance company sooner. Probably because it would have allowed me to make my tanks even more reliable. Oh well. That's not really a surprise. I mean, Malaysia was being squeezed from two different directions. I've fallen already, but I can't remember. So we're basically stalling a bit more. I basically manually ordered this attack here into um, Louis Verden. I really correct, please correct me if, if the pronunciation is wrong. It's uh, not going great. If we can get this area cleaned up, that's just a thing to worry about. As it sounds, we. Yeah, we're outnumbered quite heavily here. I don't think we can push. Maybe we can push here. They don't have any supply, but they are dug in. And that does help a little bit. Uh, December 1944, and well, the Soviets are pushing further west, though there's still some... Well, this naval invasion here obviously failed. One around Tallinn seems to have worked. Sorry to link up here, south of Novgorod, west of Novgorod. As much as I'd like. That's a destroyer and some convoys and tactical bombers for what's left of our fleet now. Yeah, building these heavy cruisers and stuff was a massive waste of effort. We just got stuck with subs the whole way. Again, we don't have enough equipment for all these all these garrisons. Secret police.
So it looks like we might be able to push back here further once these guys have recovered some strength and organization. These guys are pretty much... Yep, I think, we've act I think we can take Leubarden. Now they're going to try pushing in here, but... They have to cut across the strait, they're out of supply. I don't think they can really push that. A lot of stalemating around here. We have cancel all these attacks and just try and build up our strength again. We're running low on manpower. No, it says we're not now, but I've had to disband a few of these these divisions. Change them over to the garrisons because it means we'll gain some equipment back, which and some manpower, all of which we're just a little bit short of. Sort of medium bombers. Port equipment, three infantry equipment. One thing we're not short of is anti air. Scale that back a bit. That's on the support When we finally beat the Germans, I am going to take all of their navy. Well, it looks like the Italians are on the back foot down south. At least that's going for us. Iran is dug in and hold and holding but all these At this point, the only thing we have going for us navally are our submarines. Yeah, the rest of us, not so well. Losing a lot of these of these bombers. I might just put them on now. Let's see, what else am I short of? Short of close air support. Close air support, close air support. Close air support. Really short on it, a lot of things. I go with this factory subsidies now because the extra power game might be nice, but we really need to get this extra factory output out of the way. Should help with the things. Other Polish revolts. Back in 20 days. Well, we're at least pushing into Wurzburg. Pushing a little bit. We're from the Eastern Front. Kind of stalled. Still stalled in the Netherlands and and low country other uh, countries. Well, it's a bit once an aggression pact. Hey that that works for me. To be honest, I think the best push we can do is down here towards Nuremberg. Which 
is working. Give him value there. Don't have enough organization there. I'm just going to rename this to Poland. Just so, so I can remember what they're actually doing. Right, is there anything else we could use here? Really? Oh, the French state. Oh, the Germans are now as, um, their capitulation is increasing, like, we're getting there. It's just taking ages, and there's a lot of attrition in the field. Losing a fair chunk of manpower. Just from, ca just from casualties. And enemy bombing. I think we are, but we are pushing. Being towards Regensburg, at least. We've taken Dresden, we're just about holding it. In the west, out towards them, the Low Countries, still stalled, but at the very least, we're drawing, we're holding troops here, away from the south and the east, like. So the Soviets were pretty much back, backed up to here, here more or less. They're they're making ground. Hey, we have jet engines. Probably won't use them, but let's see. logistics company. Yeah, I think we will need more of that sort of supplies. Fuel always are oh, good. Sub is now no, see, no push perfect finish. I think this is probably the best one, just get them out quicker. have now no oh, jets no oh, thank you as you can see this massively buffs our not gonna bother also upgrading Let's see where is this In that's a massive drop in our in our range and massive buff to our air cons fuel consumption. Don't do that. I have a lot of air XP to spare, so maybe I'll des at least design one that uses two jets. 
Yeah, the range is ludicrous. basically doing this because I have nothing else to spend my air XP on. My air XP. Ceiling fuel tanks, I think. Too expensive for port strikes, so this is just going to be a pure bomber. Well, it looks like this isn't going too badly now, at least. We're kind of stalled because supplies are a bit of a problem. Ah, yes, I need to build way more. But change this to pushing from this area. Oh, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to push through that. Uh, looks like the attack down here is stalled a bit. Let's see, what can I get this guy? Hmm, skirmisher. I really tried that. Let's see what it's like. Oh, geez, not enough command power for that. Might just be time to try and consolidate as much of this as possible. So I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Like, we've pushed further than we did last time. The Germans are very, very much on the back push, that overall. But we're losing a lot of men just slogging through Germany. So, I might do another episode of this afterwards after this one but i'd say at this point it seems fairly obvious that we are winning but the germans are not making it easy for us so that's going to be it for now i'll see i'll see you in the next one bye for now